Right everyone, welcome to that video. Right, I've been asked to do a video on rations again. So, what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd show you an easy way to set up some uh, cheap rations that are also a nice varied diet. Because you can do rations loads of different ways, but this way you'd get a nice variety of food, all different. Might cater, you could cater to specific tastes or picky eaters say um, yeah and each thing you can have differently because for rations you could just pack loads of tins or loads of high energy bars you know chocolate bars stuff like that um, and it would be lighter and smaller all of this stuff fits in this box with a little bit of um, it's got a little bit of it could be packed in probably slightly tighter <clears throat> but there, that is how much, that's what you'd get, 24 hours in that box. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of options you could do, but this is what I like to do, because you can get a nice variety of stuff. So this is all stuff that's very cheap, you can get anywhere, any supermarkets, or just in your kitchen in general. I just get, I, most of this I haven't bought for this, it's just been got out of my cupboard, uh, specifically for this. So what you get, you get a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, and a little accessory pack. This rations are sort of based on World War One rations and the MREs. I looked at the MREs for the accessories and what they give you, but there's only one meal you see. And then this is based on World War One rations, how they would do it. So. All of these are bagged up in separate things and labelled. I'll show you that at the end, how I set this little box up. Because it's easier. Because if you give it to someone, they might not know what's for what. So each of these little bits are bagged up with a label on that says ration, uh, says breakfast and then how much calories is in it. So for the breakfasts, I tend to go with something like a cup of soup, some biscuits and some tea and a bit of jam or as I've got Nutella there so that gives you a little bit of a starter but you can use any cup of soup or anything what you can do quickly in a cup by just adding water um, and the other thing I'd recommend is whatever you put in these rations make sure it's pre-packaged I've managed to find pre-packaged biscuits don't bother, I personally wouldn't bother wrapping up my own biscuits because you're handling them, they've been exposed to air. You want to try and find stuff that's already pre-packaged for everything. So all your tea bags pre-packaged, unless you've got the proper facilities to do it, you know, like vacuum um, seeing that. If you haven't, don't bother. Don't bother just wrapping things in cling film. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, or even in airtight bags. Get pre-packaged stuff. So you can get various different biscuits or crackers. Uh, if you don't want biscuits, you can get crackers as well. Pre-packaged crackers. And then instead of stuff like Nutella, you could add Marmite. And there's loads of these you can get. The ones I've got, I've got Nutella, I've got jam. You can get Marmite, you can get syrup. All different varieties of jam. So a, a thing of jam, basically, some biscuits or crackers. Your biscuits can be dunked in your tea. And then your tea, you can have tea or coffee. You may want some whitener. I haven't actually got any whitener at the minute. Or powdered milk. I've just put a little thing saying whitener. Sugar. Um, another thing what you can do, which I've actually done in here. Instead of a cup of soup, porridge. So in this one, instead of a cup of soup, there's porridge. And you can get pre-packaged... Um, <clears throat> sachets of porridge which are really good for a breakfast so if you want something a little bit more actual breakfasty yeah swap that out I'll tell you what else you could do you know the little mini um, boxes of cereal take the bag out of the box and have a box of cereal you're only going to be able to add water to it though but you could always do the cereal water and the whitener and then you've got your sugar so you'd have, so there's your breakfast, and then you've got your biscuits to either eat with the jam or with the tea. So 
So that would be your breakfast, and that comes to approximately, and that comes to approximately 500 calories in that breakfast. So, oh, you also get um, a hand wipe. So that's pretty much everything you'd need for your breakfast. Um, if you don't eat, you'll have it as a snack later, some of it. So then you get your lunch later on. Again, pre-packaged, sand lunch, sand colours. So, for this one, I've, I've done a mug shot pasta, um, like a pasta type kind of thing, that you just add water. Very easy to do. Biscuits again, but you could have um, crackers, like I said. Not included the jam of this. I've put a sauce in it, this tartar sauce is just to represent any sauce, so it could be hot sauce, it could be anything. And that would be to add into the mug shot, or whatever. You don't have to have a mug shot, you can get rice, anything that's really quick that you just add water. You, you could have um, like a super noodles thing, but they need to be cooked a little bit. Uh, the majority of what I've tried to put in here doesn't need to be actually cooked. You just add water to it, or you don't need to cook it. Um, just heat it up, if you know what I mean. So yeah, anything like that, any pre-packaged sachets that would give you a decent bit of food. That's not your only main thing for your lunch, though. So again, tea bag or coffee, sugar and whiteners, the uh, hand wipe... And some salt and pepper. Again, pre-packaged salt and pepper. Get them from places like McDonald's or stuff like that. Or any restaurants. The majority of this stuff you can get from places like Premier Inn. These Nutellas, these tea bags, sweeteners, sauces. If you ever get a chance to go to a Premier Inn or whatever, those other places where you can do the self-service breakfast. Pocket a load of this stuff at the same time. And you're... You get a load of really good stuff for um, <clears throat> ration packs. So, yeah, you've got your drink, your food, your biscuit to go with your drink. But, what you also have is a tin of meat. That doesn't have to be pilchards, I just have pilchards because that's all I've got in a minute. In here is a tin of ham. On the actual label to this one, it says lunch plus half the meat. <clears throat> so what you would do, you would set this all up and then you would open this tin and put half of the meat in with, say, the mugshot. As I said, it doesn't have to be pilchards if you don't think they would go with that. Or you could eat them with crackers. You know, If you didn't have the biscuits, you could have it with crackers, put the pilchards on the crackers. Um, and then the bags that these are in, use that bag to seal this back up. And then again... That whole thing, I think, is around about 500 calories. That's at least, and you can always add a little bit more, you know, if you don't think it's enough, add two, two things of biscuits or something. <clears throat> so, yeah, your lunch would be pasta or the rice or whatever you want to use, half the meat, and then you've got all the other stuff to go with it. So then your dinner is... A main big packet of rice, but again, could be pasta, could be you know anything. But you want a main, you want a big one. This they say serves two, but you'd have that yourself. So what you'd have that with is the rice or whatever, and it doesn't have to be plain rice. You, there's lots of flavoured rices as well. You can get there's loads of different ones you can get. And these don't actually have to be cooked. You could eat that straight out of there if you want to. It'd be a little bit dry. But um, you can just scoop these into a pan and cook them. You would then add half your meat to that, the other half. Um, the tomato sauce is just to represent any sauce again. So you could use tomato sauce in this if you wanted to. It could be hot sauce, brown sauce, anything. Salt and pepper. And an oxo cube. So all of that can be used to make a nice meal. You could add other things. If you can find little pre-packaged things or vegetables, that would be really good. To add into there. You've got a hand wipe, uh, a drink, this is hot chocolate but you could have sachets of coffee. Again when you go to these places and get these um, 
prepare your own meal things, you can get a lot of um, slices of coffee as well. It's absolutely perfect with this. But that's a hot chocolate. Um, yeah, so you'd have tea or coffee or whatever you like. And then you've got, um, instead of the biscuits, this time I've got a little packet of sweets. Um, ice jam biscuit type things. So you've got your actual main meal, a bit of dessert, a nice drink, um, you know, and some stuff to add to it. Your hand wipe again. So that's your three meals. And then to go with that, there's a little accessories pack. So there's another hand wipe, plastic fork and spoon, just in case you've lost your somehow. Some matches to light a fire. This is some little um, teeth cleaners, but you could put tooth, uh, not toothpaste, so you could put chewing gum in. A couple of toothpicks, and I'd recommend putting some dental floss in there as well if you think you'd need it. A packet of sweets just to go in between anything, and some toilet roll. I'd recommend a bit more than that, maybe one of those um, packets of tissues for each one of these 24 hours. <clears throat> You're going to need a tin opener. Make sure you either get tins that don't need tin openers, so they just have the ring pull. Or, there's a couple of options you could do. Make sure you've definitely got a tin opener on you. Or, get tins that have the ring pull. Or, buy some of those little P38 tin openers and put one of those in each of the rations. So that then, that may be the best way to actually, if you can't get the ring pull ones, Put a P38 tin opener in, they're a tiny little thing about that big, you know, not much bigger than my thumb there, the end of my thumb, um, and they're tin openers, and they're cheap, they're probably less than a quid each, and you can put those in these rations, and then you could just give it to someone, because that's the other point of these, these are rations you can give to anybody, and they don't have to work out what's for what, it's all ready, so just here are, here's some rations, and they're, they're done. They don't need to mess around trying to work out, is that for the breakfast, is that for the breakfast? You know, and they'd also have a tin opener to open it. So, I'll show you what's in this one now, because it's, it's just this, but slightly different combination. But this is how I like to set them up. I set it up in a box, so it doesn't all get squashed. So, I label it 24 hours, and this is just a bloody, it's just a fajita box. So, it, doesn't, it literally doesn't really matter what the box is. The box is just to stop the stuff getting squashed. So, I packaged this up earlier. This is how I, this is how I would recommend packaging it up as well. Inside this box, you don't need to do this, but it just makes life so much easier if it's done like this. I think. And we'll see in a second. So. You get your, your rations, open it up like that, so you can shut it up again for the next, you know, and you get your bits out. So, you get your breakfast out. So there's your breakfast there. It says on there, breakfast, 450 calories, approximately. It's at least that. And so in this one, as I mentioned, I'll show you some of the alternative you can get. So instead of the cup of soup, this one's got... Quaker Oats, and these, this, you literally just rip the top off, fill it up to the fill line with hot water. You don't even need a bowl for that. And then we've got, obviously, the biscuits. This one's got a ready-made chocolate in, and then all the other little bits you would have. But you can now see the variations of stuff. So, there's the breakfast. This is the tin that that one's got. So, this has got a tin of ham, there's your extras, which includes your fork, your spoon, your matches and all that, and then your lunch, this one's got a bag, instead of a mug shot, it's got a bag of couscous in it, that you just add, so you'd have the couscous and half the ham in that one, and there's one of the coffees and the biscuits, and then your lunch, so it's got a golden vegetable rice. It's all it's all pretty much the same stuff. 
all comes to around about, I think it was 1,700 and something calories, which should be enough for general survival or, you know, it all depends how hard you're doing. Something. But you could always add a bit to these if you want to, add a, add a couple of high energy bars, one or two high energy bars would add 500 calories easily to that. So you just add one of those. It's just, I didn't add anything like that because I don't have it. This is literally stuff out of my cupboards. None of this has been bought specifically for this video. It's just stuff I had ready. But yeah, to each of these, you could probably add one single high energy bar to add another 1,500 calories if you wanted to. It's not difficult to add more to this. And there was a little bit of room in here as well. There is a bit of room here that you could get some extra bits in there just to bulk it out. But this is your bare minimum. And um, I'd say it's probably about 2,000 calories because I haven't added all the all of the sugars and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of it is around about, you know, this could be more than the jams, stuff like that. So it's approximate. So yeah. Let me know what you think about that, but I think if you want a bare minimum, easy to make, cheap rations that will suit everyone, I think this is quite a good idea. Because as I said, a lot of people are picky about what they eat and stuff like that, and you can cater to people's specific needs and tastes this way. Um, you know, it's up to you. Because do remember that not all rations are for survival or stuff like that. Some of it could be shit hit the fan or just natural emergencies or if you live in a flood area and you could pack a couple of these for the family, one each, and you've got food for a day then if you couldn't go home for that day or if you got stuck in snow or all, you know, in other parts of the country, floods, hurricanes, any natural disasters. These are perfect for that because you would not need more than 2,000 calories if you were just sitting about doing nothing waiting to go home. You know, that's partly the point of it. People don't always think that. They, they see these and they think, oh, it needs more calories. Not necessarily. Not not necessarily. You do if you're carrying a heavy bag and you're in the army, you know, carrying a gun and a great big pack. Yeah, you do then. But uh, just general survival even, you could miss a day and then eat this, you know. Or whatever you know actual survival where your life depends on living you can ration that you probably make that last year four days four or five days yeah um so the only thing you do need with this then is water basically which you you everyone needs water anyway so that's not a um doesn't really need mentioning because uh without water you'd die anyway so yeah so that's it just need to boil water. So with your with your rations, obviously you would need a a pan, something to boil water. But yeah, these rations to go with a cup and a pan. Right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, there's loads of variations on all this stuff. Doesn't have to be the things you're seeing. Just something like it. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Alright? See you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon. Or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearbest. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.